and a wonderful good morning to you all. Hi guys, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Coming to you from Dallas, downtown Dallas. I've got my uh, smart car parked in a lot so that I can explore today. Now we are gonna talk about this famous square here, Dealey Plaza, and what happened here on that fateful day in 1963. Thanks for joining me, guys. Yeah, guys, we are going to talk about, sadly, one of our nation's kind of controversial, but also uh, sad of uh, President John F. Kennedy. And uh, that happened, sadly, here. It gives Dallas kind of a, a bad rap. Uh, but this plaza is where it happened. And this memorial park here has been left exactly as it kind of was back in the day uh, to remember the president. And actually, let's start, we'll start so on November 22nd, 1963, John F. Kennedy, his motorcade was driving down this road, exactly, right here, trying to boost his chances of getting reelected, right? And if you look right down there where that red car just drove over, we're gonna get closer, there is a X in the middle of the road. You've all heard of the sixth floor shooter? All right, here's where it was, watch my finger, one, two, three, four, five, six. That square window right there, not the top floor, but the square one on the bottom right there. That is now a museum for John F. Kennedy. Now I'm just sharing a little bit of history with you. I am not glorifying anything. Uh, this is all preserved like this so that we can remember the President of the United States. However, they have gone so far in Dallas, as I mentioned, as to put an X marks the spot in the middle of the road. So there's where it happened. Up there, the sixth floor up there. It's supposedly where it happens, but again, you've probably heard of the second gunman on the grassy knoll. I give you the grassy knoll back here where conspiracy theorists have said that there was another shooter that also shot one of those three fatal shots that was over there. And it looks like they also have another memorial over there. So we'll cross the street in the crosswalk and go check that out too. Yeah, we crossed the road. Now I'm gonna come out here and just show you. It's just a painted on X in the middle of the road. Isn't that crazy? What a weird way to preserve such an event. And again, here is the grassy knoll up here. Similar to other tragedies in this country, oftentimes what they like to do is keep things as original as possible or create an open space. And I think that's what they've done is created an open space here. What do we got here? A quote. Oh, it's a quote by John F. Kennedy. We in this country, in this generation, are by destiny rather than choice, the watching on the walls of world freedom. We ask, therefore, that we may be worthy of our power and responsibility, and that we may exercise our strength and wisdom with restraint, and that we may achieve in our time of all this time the ancient vision of peace on earth, goodwill towards men. As I understand it, a few blocks away, there is one more memorial to JFK. So we're gonna go try to find that too. It's a little warm here in Dallas today and kind of muggy. A lot of construction going on, a lot of cleaning. I'm interested in that weird object over there, but we'll see. So that museum that's up there in the sixth floor that they made to dedicate to the president, my buddy, Raphael went up there, uh, they're closed on Monday and Tuesday, so we can't go up there today, but the museum shows some pictures, like here's a sniper gun that was possibly used. These are all replicas, of course. A replica hat that Lee Harvey Oswald wore when he made that fatal shot from the sixth floor, a uh, type of camera that was used in, in the area, and some more pictures of what the view actually looks like from that room, which is really eerie looking down on the street like that. So, too bad we couldn't get into this museum to see these pictures, but thank you, Raphael, for sharing these with me and my viewers. And you see this beautiful castle-looking structure right there? Beautiful, right? I guess that was a courthouse back in the day. And some history, uh, inside those doors was the first jury that sat women here in Dallas County. So it's a historical marker for women's rights in jury. A strange sight here in the middle of town for sure. Yeah, it's a log cabin. <laughs> it's a log cabin in the middle of the city. It is presented uh, 
for the log cabin pioneers of Dallas County. Most colonists first settled in this Three Forks area of the Trinity River as members of the Peters Colony after 1841. Immigrants from such state as Arkansas, Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, and Tennessee brought with them a tradition of building log shelters. Then over here on the far side of the cabin, there's a Texas Highway Department uh, dated 1936 here, which talks about Dallas County. The unincorporated town of Dallas was designated as a post office by the Republic of Texas in 1843. Okay, I found the official uh, Dallas John F. Kennedy Memorial Plaza here. And uh, I read some of this. You don't need to read any of this. The architect says, uh, that it's a place for quiet refuge, an enclosed place of thought and contemplation separated from the city around, but near the sky and earth. That's Philip Johnson. This was erected in 1970. It was supposed to be a lot cooler than this. <laughs> um, these walls were supposed to be marble. And uh, I guess that would have made the difference. According to the architect, uh, instead Dallas cheaped out and did all concrete in here. And um, it's interesting. It's definitely hollowed out for a meaning, for a purpose. But that purpose is almost lost in the confusion. Mind you, this was built 53 years ago. So keeping that in mind, maybe architects' creative juices weren't as good as they are today. Now we have real art, you know? <laughs> Give me a break. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if the architect is still around and we can get him to come in and do a 53-year makeover of it because uh, it's a it's a weird it's a weird site guys All right, we need to stay in the area because I purchased an online ticket For something that I showed you earlier in this uh, video. So that that'll be later. We got some time to kill Let's go grab some lunch. So look this Dallas cruise tour has the horns mounted on the front This is what I want for tater tot. I think that came out really well Gives it that Texas flair. <laughs> All right, we got the historic West End with the neon lights going across. We've got this old building here, which I can't read all the lettering there on the wall, but it's been around for a while. No shortage of interesting places to eat. Here we've got Record Grill. Not a whole lot of cool things about downtown areas, but because of the tall buildings and all the concrete, it's easy to find shade. And there's a breeze blowing through the alleys. Feels really good. Ah. <laughs> this is what the uh, public transportation looks like here in Dallas. They got the DART, D-A-R-T. Not the BART of San Francisco, <laughs> but the DART. Nice. The Green Line. And they're rolling down old brick roads here too. All right, we're still on Record Street, turning on to Corbin. There we go. There we go, I saw this one on Google. How about Ellen's established 2012 for breakfast, lunch, I love the lights, like the movie theater light marquees that go around. And breakfast all day, it's brunch o'clock somewhere. Mmm. Yeah, it's a nice little hole in the wall restaurant. Air conditioning's working. I got a fancy black coffee there orange juice in the water and a food order in. Whoa, look how good this breakfast looks, guys. I got scrambled eggs. I got hash browns under there, bacon. I right, just hit the jackpot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. See if these potato hash browns check out. Mm. And then... Mm-hmm. What a score of a good meal, breakfast for lunch. I love it. Great spot. Let's head off to our next destination. All right, we finally found the entrance. I had to walk all the way around this thing. Not an easy one to get to, but there she stands. Clouds have rolled back in. Let's go to the top. They really don't make this easy. <laughs> you have to buy your tickets online. And we're here, but I don't know where to go. So we are standing underneath the tower. It goes up apparently, but I have, for the life of me, everything around here just says Hyatt Hotel. And there's nobody here. It's completely empty on all sides. So I'm gonna have to go ask hotel how I check in to go to the top. 
because I'm pretty confused right now. All right, somebody at the bar told me that we need to go downstairs. As you'll notice, there's nothing written here about going downstairs. But <laughs> glad I asked, because I never would have figured it out. Going down the Elvis later. There we go, it's under the Hyatt. Now we've seen Reunion, Tower, Crown Block. We want the Geo deck this way. Reunion Tower Neon, nice, I like that. I guess they do some fireworks shows on it for certain events. That almost looks like Spaceship Earth type of lights on the top. I don't know if it's like that every single night, but yeah, Dallas, Dallas. All right, now that we're here and checked in, <laughs> we're gonna wait here for the elevator and uh, we're the only ones in here. I might get this all to myself, awesome. All right, heading in. We're going up pretty fast, actually. Yes, sir. A little under, uh, about four miles per hour. It's at about a rate, uh, a little under four miles per hour, rate of about seven feet per second. Woo wee Looking out towards Oak Cliff and an interchange of 35 East, Simmons Freeway and uh, Interstate 30. Okay. Carl Farn Freeway. What a complicated freeway system. Jeez. <laughs> How high are we going total? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know the exact number of stories, but it's close to 50 stories. 50 stories, wow. Close to 50. Welcome to the Geodeck today. Thank you. Our man is the ambassador up here. Hope you have a great time, Thank sir. Thank you so much, have a good day. You too. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go outside and check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at Dallas. Whoa, what an incredible view of a big city. I, wow. It's awfully windy up here too. So thank goodness for this good microphone that I brought. Wow. I mean, really, really windy. Man. But thankfully this one doesn't rotate like the Space Needle in Seattle, so <laughs> that elevator ride enough up 50 some stories was rough for me. It's neat for sure, but it makes the world look so complicated and overwhelming. Oh well, I'm not sure why they have tables as if it's there's like food or drinks or something, but there's nowhere to grab a drink or food. So. How about a magnet? Let's go check out the gift store in here. Let's see, I see some magnets that say Dallas on it. Okay. Yeah, so again, nothing that says Reunion Tower, Dallas. Eh. I don't know, I'm not too impressed for 20 bucks to get up here and then there's no food or drinks, no magnets. And the gift store that probably would have sold magnets for JFK was closed on Tuesdays as well. A lot of stuff is closed on Tuesdays in Dallas. Good to know. Uh, but anyway, I guess I'm done up here. We need to get back in the car and travel nearly two hours to go meet up with the kitties where the RV's parked, guys. So let's go find Tater Tot. Uh, if you missed my last video, I, um, I left the RV like two hours away with the kitties in there with full bowls of food and everything to uh, explore Fort Worth and we did the stockyards. Had a lot of fun, then decided to stay in a motel and not trek back during rush hour Dallas-Fort Worth traffic and it was one of the worst motels I've ever stayed at in my life. Check that one out, I will link it at the end uh, in the cards, but um, yeah, just a, just a long perilous drive back and I can't wait to relax and see those kitties. Do you remember me, Opie? It's been so long, do you remember me? I'm your dad. Yeah, I'm your dad. Did, did you forget who I am? I'm the... Man, you're that guy who fills my bowl and stuff. Yeah, that's... I'm... that's... I'm the guy. Missed you, buddy. Where's Tara? Dad, I was the boss while you were gone. I, I... I kept Opie in line and everything. You did? I'm good. Good. Missed you. Missed my kitties. I missed my kitties. Yeah, so I made it back to the RV now, guys. And, uh, just want to let you know I've been battling YouTube on this video behind the scenes. They are demonetizing this video no matter what, and I've tried to edit it in a few different ways, even taking out a certain word that they just do not like, even though it's, it's a fact, it's a part of history. Um, 
YouTube is really picky when it comes to uh, certain trigger words and uh, because of my talking about John F. Kennedy and his demise, uh, YouTube, no matter what, has decided that I cannot make any money on any of this video, even though it's really frustrating. Um, I thought about just that. Anyway, don't know what else to do. I, for some reason, I don't get to make a cent on this video, even though I put in the same amount of effort that I've done in all my other videos. So if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor today, guys, will you go watch one of my other videos, even my last video, if you missed that one or any other, just go through my, my playlist, do me a favor, do me a solid, hit play and watch one of my other videos. It'll really help me out. <laughs> in the meantime, I am going to pack it up and, uh, gonna say goodbye to Texas for now. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.